It's no secret that plumbing can be an incredibly tedious job, and if you happen to be a plumber, you just might know what I'm talking about. But what a lot of people don't know is that dealing with pipes and fixtures can be equally dangerous if you're not vigilant. So what are some common plumbing accidents plumbers need to be careful of, and how can you avoid them? Keep watching this video for all of this and more. What are the most common plumbing accidents? First, let's take a look at the most common and serious accidents that plumbers could face while doing their job. Following accidents are the common ones, so this is definitely not a list of all the accidents that you could get involved in because of plumbing. There are many other kinds of accidents you need to look out for as well. With that being said, let's get started. Asbestos. Being exposed to asbestos is the number one reason why many people die of respiratory problems at their workplace. In fact, according to one research done by Cancer Research UK, around 2,500 people in the UK alone die of mesothemia. While this is a type of respiratory cancer caused by asbestos exposure. The reason why many plumbers are exposed to asbestos at work is because they have to work at places with an unknown history. Since the material has fire-resistant properties, for years it was used for pipe, valve, and gasket insulation. This means that today plumbers have a huge risk of coming into contact with the dangerous substance. What's even more concerning is that a report by HSE has shown that less than a third of all tradespeople were aware of the correct ways to handle asbestos. You could be one of them. So, what can plumbers do to protect themselves? Keep watching this video if you'd like to know the ways you can keep safe of the harms of asbestos. Falling from heights. Almost every plumber has had a fix a pipe situated on a heightened place, such as rooftops or skyscrapers. This is dangerous because there's always a risk of accidents from slipping or falling down. Moreover, there have also been situations where other objects, such as plumbing tools, have fallen down from heights and have injured their users. Electric Electrocution and burn. Two other common accidents during plumbing are burning or electrocuting yourself. It's very common for utility connection pipes to be bundled together in residential environments. And if they're not tagged, it's possible for plumbers to identify the wrong type of pipe from the gas, electricity, and water pipes. And if a plumber indeed makes the wrong judgment and cuts the wrong type of pipe, it comes in contact with bare wires unknowingly, electrocutions can occur. These accidents are extremely harmful and can even put the lives of plumbers at risk. Moreover, if the plumber messes with the gas connection pipes and cuts it, there's the huge risk of explosions taking place, leading to burns. Muscle tension. Plumbing work can be extremely repetitive, with plumbers doing very similar jobs for hours on end. This repetitive motion means that plumbers can affect their muscles negatively, and in many cases, injuries such as back injuries, which affect ligaments, muscles, and joints, muscle sprains and strains, and damage to the soft tissue found in the neck, wrists, and and shoulders. Injuries from hand tools. Granted that technology has pervaded the world of plumbing and that plumbers don't need to rely on handheld manual tools as much as they used to, but hand tools are still used by plumbers to a certain extent. But plumbers need to keep in mind that hand tools can lead to many accidents and injuries, such as musculoskeletal disorders, as well as cause fractures and damage to the bones. These damages can be very serious and may lead lengthy recovery periods. This means that you could be kept from returning to your beloved job and you may put you at risk of amputations even. Hearing loss or damage. Another accident that can occur while plumbers do their job is hearing loss and damage to hearing it is because plumbers work around a lot of equipment that creates loud sounds that can be quite irritating to the ears. These include electronic machines that buzz, noisy pipes, banging tools, and pounding mechanisms, alongside causing damage to the eardrums. The dirty work that plumbing can involve can also lead to ear infections. There's a risk of contaminated substances entering your ears if you don't protect yourself against them, and causing much harm to your ability to hear. Skin hazards. The ears are definitely not the only organisms at risk for plumbers. Instead, the occupation poses a threat to the skin of its practitioners. Plumbers often come in contact with hazardous substances such as chemicals or contaminated water at their workplace, which increase the risk of accidents involving the skin such as acne or burns. Eye injury. The eyes are also unsafe when dealing with some of the objects and substances that plumbers come across while doing their job. This means that there's the possibility of eye injuries from the bacteria and chemicals present at the site of work. You can contract infections and several types of eye disease that can put your ability to see at risk. This is why vision Vigilance is needed for the sake of your eyes in plumbing, you need to make sure that you are protecting them by taking the right measures. Slipping and tripping. Water is just one of the many things almost 
always present where plumbers are. But that's supposed to be harmless, right? As long as it isn't contaminated. That's actually not true. Water itself increases the risk of plumbers slipping and receiving injuries. Slips, trips, and falls can result in many serious injuries and in extreme cases even death. In several cases, there have been injuries to the head, fractures, and spraining. How to prevent these accidents from occurring? We all know the basics of safety when it comes to occupations such as plumbing. Always wear your protective clothing and just be overall vigilant when handling the many requirements of your job. The protective clothing includes insulated kits, gloves, earmuffs, glasses, as well as helmets. But for the specific accidents that we just warned you against, there are some major preventative actions you can take to reduce the risk of their occurring. So in order to protect yourself against the dangers of asbestos, there are some key steps that can be taken, such as wearing disposable safety kits and avoiding eating, drinking, or smoking near places where the substance is present. In order to prevent injuries to the ears, earmuffs, or noise blockers could be worn, whereas you need to wear glasses while you're doing your job to prevent eye injuries, the scan can be protected with appropriate protective kits. Another important tip to bear in mind is that the workplace should be arranged in a way that repetitive actions can be minimized. Moreover, you can even learn how to fall properly in case of slips or trips and move instantly so as to avoid serious injuries on the skull. Finally, for our own safety, make sure you carry out regular inspections at the workplace and only use the safest of attachment points and harnesses so that the dangers of plumbing can be reduced. You should also ask for all the safety equipment being provided if you work under someone else. And if you own a plumbing business, make sure to provide it to your workers in order to reduce the dangers of plumbing and to be able to carry out your work smoothly. That was it for today's video. We hope this was informative and would help you become more careful as a plumber in the future because your job entirely depends on your well-being. Let us know if you're aware of any other type of accidents in plumbing in the comments below. And make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. If you're already a plumber running your own business or just about to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting a plumbing business so you don't make the same mistakes. Plumber Accelerator have put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that'll show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other plumbers and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimate into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay you more. Click on the link in the description below the video.